Oh, I'll come back. Freedom. Into the blue place. So we can probably start looking to some of the deeper spots here now. In free room. And you're gonna take pictures of things again too. Advanced. At some point we'll also probably increase in rank again. calmer things are here when you don't have music playing the whole time. Let's get in the habit of remembering to take photos of things. And lots of nerd content this year. You know, the game tells you to press 1 and 2 to zoom in and out, but up and down work just as well. Well, we've explored basically the whole northern portion, though, I believe. These fish are really big for not being photographable. I find that very strange. Look, look, look at those ones. Those are so bright. Ghost fish. No, not the butterfly. Darn it. There we go. Great photo. Here's that guy. So we still have to find the whale shark at some point. The whale shark was around here, I think it was. Maybe a little further south. Do you mean that's just like a way to get somewhere faster or what? I am going to have to look at those hints again. Actually. Because there was some stuff that talked about the drift point specifically. I remember one of the hints. That was the one that confused me the most at first, actually, before I realized these were about the diving mini game. Also, I haven't taken any pictures of sharks, so I need to find those. So I have a number of different things to find right now. Aha, you can't escape from me, frogfish. I thought I saw something at the very bottom there. Bam. Unfortunately, I already have striated and morty frogfishes. Are there any other kinds of frogfish in existence other than those two? Because that's all you see in video games that I've played. running. Nope. Come on. Jeez, these guys really do run. Mm -hmm. Yeah, some of the smaller fish are super skittish. And I've already been up here, so there's probably not much need to explore more here. Admittedly. Hey, that was a perfectly... There we go. Jeez. That was actually a decent photo, too. The game did not seem to want to acknowledge that photo, though. 
more drift point. There's a lot of drift point here. So I guess you can just kind of trace the uh, the current everywhere. For the moment though, I think I'll explore on my own and then I'll have to look at the hints again. But that drift point hint is a little ambiguous if you don't know precisely where it's referring to with the drift point because the drift point seems to be in lots of different places. So as far as I can tell, it's just the, the current as a whole that gets labeled the drift point. An incident I can't actually dive much further than this at the moment. Hopefully that'll change soon with me getting some more photos. Party garden. Oh, I thought that was a dark array. It's still a little hard to tell sometimes if certain fish are photographable or not. But usually if they fade in and out of existence, there aren't. He just wants to keep flying past me, jeez. You guys already have him pretty certain. This is more open waters I can't go to. Anything going up here? Not especially. It's interesting seeing that there's a depth map though on the uh, mini map in this game. I wonder what it would be like seeing a depth map on the mini maps in, say, the Wii Skins No More games. <laughs> of course, it's a, the whole thing's a, uh, a mountain, whether you're on the resort or uh, Angrio, so presumably it would just be really deep at the bottom and less so everywhere else. I know there are still some things I'm missing up in these higher areas, though. Assuming, well, maybe these, it's not necessarily guaranteed I'm going to find those sharks in, or the whale shark, in this area. I accidentally missed the prompt to, to learn about the, the tornado. And I see the tornado, but I want, to, I want an explanation for this tornado. Barracuda are ghost fish, apparently. They're completely invisible to cameras. That's a pretty interesting quality for a fish to have, eh? Be totally invisible to cameras. It means my camera light is like, uh... Weird type of x-ray thing, in fact. It just lets me see right through them. So those are some sharks, presumably touching them will frighten me and make me lose a bunch of air. Looks like there has to be something special about this little spot here. It's just so central and has a beam of light on it. I'd also like to, if I can, find this guy. Thank you. And you guys are the same kind of turtles before, right? 
Yeah. Cool. That's probably about it for this dive then. Okay. So next time we can try going a bit deeper. Which will also be made possible by the fact that we will have... Hopefully, a higher diving, diving level. In fact, I think we've found basically everything we can find now. Except that one type of... That one butterfly fish in, um, in the first area, I think. Otherwise, we've found everything, I think that we can even find at this point in the game without being allowed to dive deeper. And or go to a new area. I'm just going back to the starting area for fun. It's nice to see this place because it's a nice tranquil little starting spot. And I should run out of air any second now. Any fish. Although there probably are some more fish I could find here actually if I go through the hints now that I think about it. place to go. But I'm still only an advanced diver, so I might not be able to go through this whole area, actually. We'll have to see. No, I'm not. Activity. Let's look at the fishes, though. Still missing that one! The one butterfly fish. Grass. Oops. I I certainly have seen these called other things before. Are you to pull in his hat? No, it was the other butterfly fish. I thought it was the long nose. Was it short nose or something? Butterfly fish that I don't have? Never should dead. Yeah, I kept finding lots of these guys together. Weirdly, in Endless Ocean, you would never find these guys together, I don't think. You'd find them all alone. Okay. Well, I guess we can get a start on diving to the deeper area next time. Or now, I mean, we'll get a start on diving this time, and the next time we'll actually see the rest of us down there. But we won't be done here yet, because I'll still want to see what I can find by reading the hints. For instance, I believe there's a beluga here. Until then... I think we've waited long enough to uh, dive on down deep here. At least however deep the game lets us go, because we might not be able to go all the way down. But at the same time, with how things are right now, I feel like our uh, depth... Unless, unless that red bit just isn't actually your maximum diving depth. Maybe it's not? I figured it would be. We did get... Although in the first area, we did actually get to where we had a... Uh, we got to the first red block, actually. In Mary Bay, because that one random black hole. Okay, so this is the party here. Welcome to the party. And deeper. Upwards current here, interesting. Yeah, every time I go into a big area like this, especially when I'm going downwards, I always hug the wall to try to keep some sense of orientation. 
letting them down. There's a really strong upwards current here, though. The game doesn't want me coming down here. These are massive crabs, though, jeez. For some reason, I don't know why this was, I felt like, um... And this ocean tended not to be very good at conveying the size of things. Somehow I feel like this game tends to be a little bit better at that. I don't know why or how. Especially since in this ocean I tend to be in first person. Here we go, think that the size of things would be a little bit more, uh, obvious. I feel like there's gonna be secrets hidden inside of these somehow. here. If you go more towards the middle. And marginally. I didn't expect the ruins to actually get this far. And what was this was this whole place not submerged to begin with? Well, I mean they probably didn't build it underwater, but I mean Is there always this big a height difference in different parts of this of these ruins or what? That's probably just the wall there. Bonk. I have not been out here that long. So I'm actually getting a start on diving here. There used to be an issue where um, sometimes you'd upload a video and it would be a lot darker than when you recorded it. Hopefully that's not the case right now because otherwise you won't be able to see much here. In which case, I should probably keep the, the uh, flashlight on, but I don't think that's the case. I don't think it's usually an issue anymore. But that does increase my uh, distance a good deal. Do I use more air when I'm deeper or something? Because that felt super fast. Certified rip. Okay, I can rescue people, apparently. I don't know. Um, just by getting the one more fish. I don't know uh, who I'm going to be rescuing or how, but... Um, in case you ever need a rescue diver, Granny's, Granny's there for you now. I want to explore that a little bit more. But in fact, eh, I, I, had, I had so little time to explore that I'll, I guess I'll just dedicate another dive to the deep part. And then I'll start looking for stuff like the, the blue goes. And then we can move on to Rocky Ridge. Bye everyone.